Let's see what you got, Hiroshi. Holy moly, look at that. That is so cool. Cool. Thanks <laughs> yeah. for sharing the spot, Lisa. Yeah. I won't tell anybody. <laughs> it's not even in Arizona. Hey, Brad, I found some gold. Lisa said she found some gold. Heck yeah. So how much gold did you find? Lots, actually. That's a good spot. One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah. I think this is our winner right here. Oh my gosh. Hi guys, we're out today prospecting Lynx Creek. And I'm out today with Hiroshi. If you know Brad with Wheelie Shiny Gold's channel, Hiroshi is his partner. We're gonna be prospecting. I'm gonna be panning. We're gonna be seeing if we can find some gold. Not much water, but there still is pockets. Lynx Creek, as I always say, is so beautiful. So I'll see what I can do on finding some gold. And have some luck. Oh, look at this. So pretty. I found this spot where it was a pretty good sized tailings pile. But I also see the bedrock is right here. And I'm thinking I should move these rocks and dig deeper underneath there and see if I can find any gold. I'm not sure if it's a good spot. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, and there's also this crevice right here where the bedrock runs. I wonder if there's any gold in there. Right. Let's take this over the water and let's see if we find anything from this little crevice right here. All right, let's take this over to some water and pan this out. Whew. It's a hot one, guys. Me and my case with everybody wonders why or how do I prospect in my case with. You know why? Because you're comfortable. <laughs> what I pulled out. Let's go show Hiroshi. Oh, he's on the phone with Brad. I can hear him. Hey Brad, I found some gold. Heck yeah! So how much gold you find? Lots, actually. That's a good spot. Really? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, here comes Hiroshi. He's got to have some good news here. Oh, I got a ways to go, but you can already see it. Oh, um, wow. So I have, I mean, this is thick and it's already. All that black sand. But it's already jumping up. You see it jumping around up there? Look at that. And there's another little daughter. They're kind of coming up too. So I got to pan through all this still. It's taking a while because it's heavy. It's all heavy. It's all black sand. It keeps trapping down the sulfides and stuff. But I'm sure in here there's more. Those are just the guys that bounced up. But because that's thick, you know. It's at least a quarter inch of material still sitting in there. But, Hiroshi's on the gold, guys. Yeah, I think so. That was pretty. That's a good sized flake up there. There's at least, right there. yeah, he keeps yeah. jumping too. There's another guy jumping around somewhere over there. Every now and again he comes up, but anyway, so I'm gonna probably magnet a good chunk of this out and then take it again. Sweet! Looks like a pretty good hole. Yeah. See any any color down in there? Red? No, just dark. Mm. Hard to really see. All right, Hiroshi, so this is your last pan for the day, right? It is, yeah. This is actually, this is the snuffer bottle. I just turned it out. Okay. So there we are. That's for, uh, I might have snuffered something yesterday, but it was just little baby runs. Just pretty much four buckets out of that hole. A good chunk of it was muck, actually. It was getting the hole kind of open back out. From what Look at that. Day. Yeah. Four and, buckets. Yeah. I didn't have my scoop, so I couldn't really get in any of the real tight ditches. This is just what the big shovel could grab. That's gorgeous. Look at that, guys. And I think I lost a lot. I didn't have the sluice set up fine enough. Really, we need to get a real long sluice going for this much fines. Hey, yeah, I've seen some long sluice lately running on videos. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, we need to probably classify real That's good nice. on the way in. And then... Um, Maybe a trommel or something to screen it down and then run it through. Yeah. Way more, way more sluice material. I think we'll catch double or triple this. So this is definitely a great area. I think so. We're coming back. <laughs> yeah. I really enjoyed working with you today. Thanks. It was I had a fun. Good time. Thanks for sharing your spot with us. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> Betty yeah. liked it. Betty's having a good old time. Hey, Conference Betty. <laughs> Do you have a snuffer on you? Yes, you I do. You for this up and take it home? Oh, are you serious? Yeah, I don't have anything to store it in, so. Are you, did you guys hear that? <laughs> did you guys hear that? That is so great. <laughs> I'm so water. grateful. <laughs> Thank you, Hiroshi. Wow, what a gift. I am grateful. We've got a treat. This is Karen. This is Hiroshi's mom. Hi, Karen. She came along today, and uh, it was great to visit with Karen and uh, hang out with her half the day and half the day prospect. It was really nice meeting you, Karen. Yeah, Hiroshi's mom is a really wonderful lady. And so that was a nice experience. So wrapping it up here today in beautiful Lynx Creek, Arizona. So beautiful always. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. I felt a little tiny bit better today. I hope to be more on my game next time. We'll see you guys later. All right, guys. So we are almost wrapping it up here. And just as we got back to the vehicles, uh, Hiroshi and his mom, Karen, and me, and Betty here. Hi, Betty. Hi Betty. Want to say hi to the camera? Yeah. So uh, we were getting ready to head out, and Hiroshi said, wait a minute, I want to check one more thing. So I'm only going to show this view, because this is a phenomenal area that he found. So what do you see here, Hiroshi? Well, I found, so we were in the stream, and we were getting color in like every pan. 
And I was telling the guys yesterday, somebody had to have looked around and been like, where is it coming from, right? Because who wants to jump around in a stream all day? So I saw a flag somewhere near where we were parked in a particular direction. And it looked like a clearing that hadn't been walked on in a long time. And I saw a bunch of small pine trees. So we followed it up and there's a big old flat space that looked like dump. And then there's a big cut for lack of a better term. And this appears to be what they're chasing in said cut. And you can see the amount of foliation and mineralization in here. And you can see we're on a white and a dark intersection here. So I, I think that's maybe a rhyolite or whatever. Um, and I think that'd be like an andesite. Um, and then this is, you see the sulfurs and this is, smells like sulfur. And then, uh, so we're gonna take some samples probably from all over the place in here. And uh, I don't know if we're gonna run it through the crusher or... Oh yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. And so in this, there's actually little bits of quartz veins in between the foliations here um, that I think we're gonna try and target. And you just see the, the different mineralization, irons and sulfur, looks like calcites or carbonates, which is probably what the quartz is being made up of. Down there in the river, we're finding some greens that look like jades even. Yes. Look at that, guys. And it's surrounded by a bunch of digging. Digs back against this wall. Yeah, this, I mean, this whole valley in here is a uh, cut. And it looks like this went much deeper. This looks worth checking too, right here. Yes. On this side. And then maybe I'll take some from there. We won't know what the answer is, but other than that, from here. Very nice. Look at that, there's quartz right in there. You see that deposit? Next I'm coming in right behind you. Yeah, come in. You see that? There's a quartz deposit right there. And then there's all this sulfur and stuff coming through right here. There, little chunkies of quartz. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Lots and lots of mineralization going on here, guys. I think this is our winner right here. Oh my gosh. You gotta save me some. <laughs> oh, I was just gonna give you some out of my bag. All right. And then this is almost like a pumice, huh? It's like powdery, like a, like burnt. Like this was boiling hot or something, and then like a pumice on this side, like a shale. All right, guys, so it's me, Tortuga Lisa, and Hiroshi here, and Betty. Betty girl. And we are finishing it up. We are done for the day. We made it an all day deal, all day project. What do you think of the area? Like it? We're coming back. Yeah. Lisa that... shared it. We're coming back for sure. I think he, that means he likes it. <laughs> so, okay guys, wrapping it up, we're out of here. We got samples we're gonna take home. We're gonna find out how much gold we all got. Yep. Yes. All right, Hiroshi, drive safe, and we'll see you all see later, guys. <laughs>